significant issue in the 17th district right now is the Columbia River Crossing, or CRC. The legislature may propose funding for the CRC in their transportation budget. Would you support funding for the CRC? You know, I've looked at the transportation budget and tried to figure out if I would support that. It's really not supporting, it's really of having the proper bridge. And at this particular time, uh, I don't believe that the bridge that they have designed meets the needs of today nor of the future. There's a lot of concern with the design. The height has become a significant issue. There's several businesses in the area that this will impact. The tolling has become an issue. We've given a toll that's going to be between two and eight dollars, but no one is really yet able to define, you know, how much money we are going to spend on tolls. I have 60,000 people every day that cross that bridge. Of those, 20,000 of those are people who have low-income jobs, probably, you know, are just struggling to get by. A toll of any amount is going to be significant to them. Clark County is the third largest taxing district in the state of Oregon. We contribute, we are the third largest contributor to their state revenues. And these people that cross the border get absolutely nothing. One of the things I've advocated for, especially those that are less fortunate who are working these low income wage jobs, give them free tolls. How is the current CRC proposal impacting the employers along the Columbia River? Well, you know, it's interesting. They spent 10 years designing this bridge, and somewhere in the ninth year last year, somebody decided they'd take a look at the height of the bridge. And I'm sorry, I just, I think this is almost comical that this bridge is too, has, was identified that it probably wasn't high enough. Now, you'll hear from the other side, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not high enough, but that's only about three to five percent of the time that uh, it won't fit certain items that are built by huge employers in the area. So, once they looked at those items that, were, that these employers were building, each one of those lifts represents about $500 million worth of products or goods that have been built. These are not small items, these are huge items. This represents, if they continue with this bridge and the way at the height that is proposed, this would impact 2,000 workers that work in the Columbia Business Center. Now, it would directly affect 1,000 employees. These are good paying union jobs that would disappear from the area. One of the criteria is a dock that will hold this weight. They said, well, why don't you move to the port of Vancouver? So the businesses went over to the port with the CRC and they discussed mitigation talks for the dock itself. And that dock is going to cost over a hundred million dollars. And at that particular point, the discussion seemed to be very quiet and cease. So we're going to lose a lot of jobs. This is not, this bridge will not create jobs. This will actually cost us jobs. Good, permanent, high wage paying jobs. Some lawmakers in the region feel the current proposal with light rail is the right plan. But what are you hearing from the taxpayers in your district? Well, you know, that's interesting. Our poor voters have voted five times on light rail or on rail in some situation. In fact, we just had a vote about a year ago on the funding the proponent of funding the project as it stands today. Because the light rail portion, the federal government will give it to us for free, they'll drop it in, and we will have this new light rail, but the light rail does not pay for itself. So we have to pay for the maintenance and operation of that. And we will pay for that until it becomes self-sufficient, which I mind you will probably never happen. This project will never become self-sufficient. The voters just voted. Overwhelmingly, 70% of the people said that they did not want to raise their sales tax to fund this project. They've only said this five times. So I think, you know, we need to sit back, find out a funding source. Our city government, our mayor and the city council said that they had an alternative plan to fund the light rail portion. They have yet to come up with it. They've been looking it up for a year and a half. That's part of this project though. We must come up with a funding mechanism and they have yet to do it.